It is a sex scandal that has morphed into criminal charges against Trump, and Nevada's fingerprints are all over it. Trump's alleged affair with adult film star Stormy Daniels reportedly began 17 years ago at a Lake Tahoe golf tournament. 8 News Now Chief Investigator George Knapp obtained exclusive details about how and why the story started right here. We do want to warn you some of the material is of an adult nature. Adult film star Stormy Daniels was 27 when she met then 60-year-old Donald Trump at a celebrity golf tournament at Lake Tahoe in 2006. According to Daniels, she and Trump had a brief sexual tryst in Trump's hotel room. She met him two more times, once in New York and again in Beverly Hills. The fling fizzled, she claims, after Trump informed her that she would not be appearing on his hit TV show, The Apprentice. Rumors about the affair percolated to the surface multiple times over the ensuing years. Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was living at this home in North Las Vegas in 2011 when a magazine publisher interviewed her and planned to reveal the sordid details. In order to bolster Daniels' claim, the publisher asked her to undergo a polygraph. Las Vegas polygraph examiner Ron Slay, who's conducted more than 27,000 lie detector tests, some involving high-profile figures, was given the job. Daniels met Slay at his office on Maryland Parkway in May 2000. 2011. Slay made a video recording of the nearly four-hour exam. Although only a single frame from that video has been made public, 8 News Now was able to view the entire video back in 2018. The publisher had submitted 17 questions for Daniels to answer. Slay whittled that down to three central issues. One, did you have intercourse with Donald Trump? Daniels, yes. Two, did you have unprotected sex with Donald Trump? Daniels, yes. Three, did Trump say he would get you on The Apprentice? Daniels, yes. In a confidential report we obtained, Slay wrote the probability of deception was less than 1%, although he listed the third question as inconclusive. But the publisher did not release the story. Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen, had threatened to sue both the magazine and Daniels. A guy walked up on me. Years later, Daniels told 60 Minutes that after taking the polygraph, she was threatened by an unknown man as she parked her car outside a Las Vegas health club. Daniels spent a lot of time in Las Vegas. She not only lived here for a year, but was a red carpet fixture at the annual Adult Video Expo and has made special appearances at local adult clubs. They're mathematically out. They ought to quit. So During the 2016 presidential campaign, as Trump won primary after primary, she says her fears grew more pronounced. Near the end of the 2016 campaign, multiple media outlets were working on a potential story about her tryst with Trump. The story was quashed after fixer Michael Cohen paid $130,000 for the rights. As for the video of the polygraph exam, those rights were purchased by Daniel's former attorney, Michael Avenatti, who is currently serving a 14-year prison term. Cohen likewise went to federal prison on charges related to the payment of hush money to both Daniels and another woman. Both Cohen and Daniels have reportedly spoken with New York prosecutors as criminal charges against Trump were being crafted. The story that started out as a rumor has now become a front-burner issue in presidential politics. George Knapp, 8 News now. Now, Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records and has pled not guilty.